Okay, so now we move on to Electrum and uh, Electrum server specifically. Um, now, the reason that we use Electrum wallet is so that we can integrate with our hardware wallet. We can use more advanced features like coin control and multi-signature. Um, and so we can experiment with those sorts of um, functionalities. Now, one of the issues with just using Electrum Wallet, by default, it connects to random servers. What we actually want to do is connect to our own server, which then hooks back into our own node. Um, and that allows us to interact uh, with our, our node um, using our hardware wallet, which we can't do as well just yet with the Bitcoin Core software. Um, and it also uh, protects a little bit of our privacy because some of these default servers are actually potentially uh, chain analysis companies who are logging data and then potentially even selling that off. So um, we'll be using, we'll be installing uh, Electrum server. Um, now there's three implementations of uh, Electrum server. There's Electrum Rust server, which is the one that we're going to be installing. And then there's also two others, which is Electrum X and Electrum Personal Server. They by and large do the same thing, um, so you only really need one. Um, but I'm going to go through the Electrum Rust server. So let's get started with that. Um, so we'll just go to the GitHub page. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, we will then move along. Uh, it's got a brief description and here, see here for installation. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is install Rust. So um, we'll just click that link and we see here, run the following in your terminal and then follow on screen instructions. Okay. Copy that. Here's my terminal and paste that in. All right. Uh, proceed with the default or installation default. Yep, happy with that. So that's now downloading and installing. Okay, okay. it says here to configure your current shell, uh, run source home cargo env. Okay, fine. So we'll run that. Copy, paste. Okay, good. Now we can actually see cargo version and it's got a, um, a version for us. So we know that it's, that's now installed. We will then, as per the instructions, do an update. So let's do that. Okay, it looks like I've got some upgrades to do. That's fine. We will then install these packages here as well. Okay, excellent. We'll just make sure that we're in our home directory, which we are, as we can see, we're in our home directory there, signified by the squiggly line. Uh, and then we need to just start building. So we will download from GitHub the uh, repository. We will go into the repository and we just need to copy, paste.
Okay, that's done. Now we'll move on to um, using it. So it says here the first index should take around one and a half hours. Um, yeah, so it does take a little bit of time. So we'll just run that. Um, now, if you are using uh, a cookie file that's not in the default directory, you can add in a little um, check mark or sorry, uh, you know, uh, a little uh, configuration edit um, to store where that cookie is. So, or to point it to where that cookie is. So you can go like cookie, I think it's path, and then you put in whatever path you had, like so. Okay, but for us, uh, um, I'm going to make this accessible to everyone uh, on the network. So um, that's why I've changed that to 0 .0 .0 0.0.0.0. And now we can start um, running that. Now you'll see here that you, it'll spit out something to the effect up to here. And then if you look at the timestamp, uh, it looks about an hour difference there. So that's kind of what we're expecting to see. So once we hit enter here, it'll go through here. We're expecting to see up to, you know, maybe from height zero. And then after that, we won't see anything uh, pop up for another hour, hour and a half, um, however long it takes. So let's just try it and see if that works. So let's give that a shot. Okay, so from height zero, at this point, we're just going to leave this here running for an hour and I'll, or an hour and a half, who knows, um, and I'll see you when it's done. Okay, so now we're back. That's all completed. It took about three hours to do. Um, we can see here that Electrum RPC server is now running, so that's good. Now, the next part um, we need to do is to ensure that um, the Electrum uh, server starts up on startup. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create the service file. Um, so we'll control C out of that. Okay. And we will create this service file. So what we'll say is uh, sudo nano etc system system d sorry system d system uh, electric dot service okay and we will just copy and paste this service file there and we will make it change a few things around to see um, exactly what we want. So we'll change that to so that everyone on the network can access uh, that. We'll change the user and we'll change everything there. So control X there. Uh, we'll go Y for yes and then enter. Okay. Then we'll enable this. So CTL uh, enable TRS service okay and then we'll start and we'll have a check of the status just to see everything works and it looks good so the service is running it started and it's um, going through there so it's started excellent so that pretty much finishes the setup of an Electrum server. Um, now we move on to the setup of the wallet itself, Electrum wallet. Um, we'll do that in the next video.